In this video, we will be swapping out the old hard drive for a new SSD. Now, the laptop we'll be using um, to swap out the hard drive and to replace with an SSD is the ASUS X553S model. Uh, this is a pretty old laptop now. It's only a dual core with four gigabytes of RAM, but it's enough for Windows 10. So this laptop was actually my mom's laptop and basically it's got an old hard drive in and it's just really uh, slow as you guys know old hard drives are just slow with laptops and it's just performing really bad and my mum basically came to me and said can you give me an upgrade and i said yeah we'll, we'll put an ssd in and then that should hopefully speed things up for her now you can do this with any laptop really and all laptops are going to be a little bit different uh, this one's a little bit different in terms of you have to take the keyboard out and then actually get to the components rather than usually what happens is you take off this back here and that just comes off and then you've just got access to your uh, hard drive and what have you. Now I could have put an extra four gigabytes in to get up to eight gigabytes of RAM but I didn't really feel that was needed and kind of an extra purchase and seeing as I had this old SSD hanging around and I have not used it really for a build or anything it's just a standard sort of 256 gigabyte one it's not the greatest brand it's a pretty cheap one but it's it's for my mom and i had it spare so i'm more than happy to give it to her uh what we'll do is we'll just cut now to the uh installation that i did for the ssd so we remove the old hard drive and then we install the new ssd let's go so as you can see this is the asus x553s laptop that we're going to be using and basically these have screws here so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten screws to take out i've taken out nine I'm just going to take out the last one now okay so with the, this laptop it's a bit unusual usually with most laptops you just take it out off like that but we're going to have to go in from the screen side basically and through the keyboard so hopefully you can see that screen basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pry the actual keyboard we're going to try and with this little pry tool just pry this up if we can okay so we've got a little little bit of a break there oh. basically we can get to the bottom that's what i mean don't be alarmed too much about the noise that's okay it's just it's just a little just a bit of plastic coming off from the actual like hinges basically I think we should have enough there. Yeah, so basically there's connectors back here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Is that going to come up? No. Hopefully you can see that. I'm hoping. Basically there's little connectors on here that we just need to take out. Okay, there we go. So, as you can see, this is our SSD now. Uh, 
saying all we want to do is just take that out actually we want, we want to um disconnect the battery before we do that right so with the battery we basically just there's a little thing there that goes down and then you just lift up here and then you're just going to very carefully kind of remove this there we go yeah so that actually just lifts up off there sorry about that <laughs> and i just have to figure that out but anyway we've got this battery disconnected now so this is the ssd here we're just going to undo these four screws and then we'll take the ssd out So this is our hard drive here and we're going to replace this with the ssd so what we're going to do is take out these four screws at the side here and then we'll put our ssd in the ssd that we're using is this 256 gigabyte one from levin i can't get a very good shot of this but basically i'm just going to take these off off camera and then you just you basically just turn you just you're just taking off these screws here the screws out that just comes off this is actually a one terabyte uh, drive, so we might actually keep that for something else. You can actually fit a uh, that two hundred that that one gigabyte uh, one terabyte uh, hard drive into a normal PC if you want to, or you could put it into another laptop. Totally up to you. So here is our SSD, and then we just put that into its little cage. Make sure it goes around the right, correct way. So we're simply just going to line the holes with the screws and then screw them in. But basically, this is the way it goes with the label at the bottom and your sort of pins facing that way. And then this sort of back shield is the part which goes onto here. So then I'll just put that down where it was there before and then just slot it in. And there we go, it slots in perfectly fine. So that's all good. And then we just put the four screws back in. Now we just want to put the battery back in. Okay, so that's back in. And then we just want to put the keyboard back. Now you're probably not going to be able to see this on camera, but a little bit awkward in terms of the uh, getting this back on, to be honest. But I don't know if I'll be able to show you on camera. I couldn't get that on camera, but you just have to put the basically the two ribbon cables back in and then you just need to uh, slot this back on. And then what we'll do is once once that's not back on, we just put the screws back in at the bottom. And then we'll be all done. And once we've put all the screws in, I think it's got battery in it, so we should should get power on. Yeah. There we go. And there we have it. 
there's the SSD installed into this laptop and you can do this for any laptop or you could do this for any desktop PC as well. If you wanted to upgrade your hard drive to a SSD, it's quite easily done. Um, I think probably more common for laptops because a lot of laptops did ship with older hard drives and nowadays you're kind of, especially with desktop PCs, most desktop PCs already have a SSD already. So, so it's probably more common with laptops, but again, you can do it with both. Um, obviously, for your Pacific laptop, uh, probably best off looking for a YouTube guide to, so you can go step by step and actually go through. There's, there's tons of guides on YouTube of actually showing you exactly which laptop you have and the exact principles of, and, or the exact sort of steps of how you take out everything and then install everything. And it's pretty simple. It's pretty much the same with any, any laptop, like I said, but... There we go. I think, I think we've got it there and uh, hopefully now my mum will be happy with uh, Windows 10 SSD. It'll be nice and quick, nice and responsive. I've just got a few things to set up on it now. Obviously, you have to put Windows 10 onto that SSD. You will need a Windows 10 USB, which you can get a the mic. You can get the Windows media creation tool from the Microsoft website and then you just download Windows 10 or you could even go Windows 11 now onto a usb stick um i've got a 32 gigabyte one here but i think anything above eight gigabytes is fine any stick above eight gigabytes should be enough and then you just go through and install windows 10 and what have you and set up their user account so pretty basic stuff it's just going to give some uh extra performance there just for, just for cheap the actual ssd this i that's why i brought i think i was only about 20 pounds or so maybe 25 pounds at most that i paid for it so not really too much of an expense for me and kind of nice for my mum just to have a bit of a boost uh, to her laptop for around Christmas as well, which is, you know, kind of a sort of nice little gift I'm giving her in one way. So for free. So, you know, that's a nice thing to do, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm happy with that. And if you are liking the videos here, guys, uh, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.